I want to talk to you about my top 10 movies of 2022. Yeah, some really, really great movies. Love, can't complain when it comes to movies this year. I'm going to start with some honorable mentions. Barbarian by Zach Kreger. Gina Prince-Bythewood's The Woman King. Avatar The Way of Water by James Cameron. Watch this in IMAX 3D while you can. You're going to love the way these little sea creatures look, that big-ass whale. Babylon by Damien Chazelle. I just saw this movie, and uh, i got to say, Tobey Maguire's cameo steals the show. All right, now we're getting to the t proper list here. Number 10, I got Marcel the Shell with Shoes On by Dean Fleischerkamp. It made me cry, and a movie that makes me cry, I gotta give it a lot of points for that. Number nine, Glass Onion, A Knife's Out Mystery by Ryan Johnson. This movie is really funny. I think it's funnier than the first Knives Out. I like seeing Ed Norton. Ed Norton's an old favorite of mine. 3,000 Years of Longing by George Miller at number eight. This movie is, is wild. Number seven, we got Nope by Jordan Peele. Kiki Palmer is the MVP of this movie. She's so funny, and I don't think the movie works without her. Number six, The Batman by Matt Reeves. I'm not a big superhero f fan, but uh, this one I really liked. I saw it twice in theaters. I'm a little embarrassed by it because it's like a three-hour superhero movie, but I love Paul Dano as the Riddler. I think Robert Pattinson as Batman kills it. Skinny emo Batman. Um, just the whole aesthetic of this movie, I think, really works. I'm going to cheat with this one. At number five, it's going to be Jackass Forever slash Jackass 4.5. I'm going to roll these two movies into one movie. This is probably the most fun I had at the movie theaters, was seeing Jackass Forever with a crowd. Um, everyone was laughing. I was laughing. What I love about this movie is that these guys are getting old. They're hurting themselves more than they would when they were younger, like still putting their bodies on the line to make us laugh. I, don't know, I think there's something kind of beautiful and heartwarming about this movie. And number four, we got The Banshees of Inishirin by Martin McDonough. Colin Farrell is so funny in this movie. Barry Keoghan is a little, little weird little peasant freak. He's got a cute-ass donkey. Number three, now we're getting into the five-star perfect film territory. This is RRR by S.S. Rajamuli. Sorry if I miss, miss said the name, S.S. Rajamuli. Holy shit, this movie is so fun. Another three hour romp, a lot of three hour movies this year, but they were great three hour movies, so what are you gonna do? This has one of the best friendship montages in any movie ever. Insane action choreography, great music, great dance choreography. Number two, we got Mad God by Phil Tippett. And the fact that Phil Tippett has been working on this movie for 30 years, just like tinkering away at this fucking hellscape like a madman. I can't not love this movie. It looks super good. The music's incredible. I don't understand what it means or what's going on really at the end, but it doesn't matter. I'm just, I can see myself rewatching this movie like for the rest of my life. It's, it's that good. And number one, we got The Northman by Robert Eggers. I saw this movie twice in theaters. Loved it the first time, loved it even more the second time. I can't even describe how good this movie is. It's just so, it's so good. Everything about this movie is so good. It's like kind of funny too, if you're high enough. The Northman by Robert Eggers is my number one movie. Though I guess, my top three are all kind of interchangeable. They're kind of like, all, all three are kind of like my, my favorite movie, but go watch The Northman. Bye.